Good evening, folks. Shades here. Might be a double episode tonight. What this one now is now was supposed to be later, and the later one was supposed to be now. But trust me, it's gonna make more sense now that I've re reversed them, you know. Put it the other way instead. Anyways, how are you all doing tonight? And yes, you, you can obviously see what the topic is tonight. And that is the Bermuda Triangle. Yes, yes, so many have disappeared, you know. So many have wandered off and never to be seen again, never to be heard again, never to make contact again. Whenever you're in this area, there's something about it that makes you lose a connection. You know, it would be an interesting experiment seeing what it does with internet. Probably the same thing. And now that we have internet, privileged people should be able to not get lost so much. And cell phones, you could take a picture of where you are. Imagine back then if they had cell phones, the pilot can show you what part he's lost in and his location, just everything. It would have been great and really, really helpful. But were they taken by the Bermuda Triangle? Were they sucked down into this hole, this funnel looking hole? Or was it something else? You know, planes and ships, just everything gets brought down into there. That's one theory. Are you ready for my theory? Come on, you know me. You're gonna guess it. I know it. Where's that smile on your beautiful faces? Come on, internet neighbors, amuse me. Um... Yeah, so I think, personally, that, um, there's more to it than that. And, may, and, you know, it doesn't seem to be, like, a big deal, and a lot of people don't care, because there's nobody, as far as I know, like, you know, the last time I checked, there's nobody guarding the Bermuda Triangle. There's nobody keeping people from flying in there, right? So, yeah, something to think about. No one seems to keep people from flying over it. But what if they weren't taken by the funnel, or by water, but were, yes, were taken above, not below? What if the Bermuda Triangle is a waiting point for extraterrestrials? You fly over that, and they pull you up, you know? Maybe it's just some sort of point. It could be a point of time travel. It could be all three of those things. Abduction, time travel, or just down into the hole that takes you to a whole other place. That's what I think it is. So, now look at this, students, listeners, internet neighbors, whoever is fascinated with, with this and learning. This is your point of view if you are flying over it. This is what they went down into. So imagine you're flying a plane over this, you know, meow, and yes, this is what you would see. Now, is it scary to you? Comment below. Is it exciting to you? Comment below. Are you adventurous? Are you staying in the, or in, within the safety of the walls of your house? People live near this stuff, you know, they live near this, and they're just so not panicking, so why should you? They live next to it, and you don't. I think it's more of the lines of, uh, somehow this place gives you, um, it's not an illness, it's a, it's, um, well, whatever you call it. I honestly think people like Amelia Earhart went through here and this place gives you amnesia and you forget who you are. And that's it. And that's why you can't get back in on, you just get amnesia. This is Shades of the Late Night Audio Show, and as always... Stay safe, and I'll see you next time.